Okay, today we are going to work on two-point perspective letters. And what I want to start by doing is drawing my horizon line. I'm going to draw this one nice and high. And I need to put my vanishing points here. Put one out here and one out over here. Okay. I'm going to start by drawing the corner of my letters. I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to start with a nice big letter. And I'm gonna draw back to the vanishing points. So what I'm gonna do is set up the basic shape for all my letters really quickly, make it a little bit easier. Draw back to the point. And back to the point, okay. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create my boxes for each of my letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That will be my first letter. And then I didn't quite get that vertical, but I think we'll be okay. There's my second letter. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make these a little bit smaller as they go back to this point. That's a technique called diminishing size. And as you look at things in perspective, they get smaller as they get further away. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about diminishing size. Okay, so I'm gonna do three letters there. And one, two, three, and I'll start with the first one. So for the first letter, let's do, let's do an L, that'd be a good one. Okay, I'm gonna draw the back of my L right here. Now I'm gonna draw the bottom of my L, remember it goes back to the vanishing point. Okay, so there's my L, I wanna erase a little bit. And I can erase this too. And this because I don't need that anymore. Okay, so I have my L there. To finish my perspective for the L, I draw all my corners back to the vanishing point here. I'm gonna draw this corner back to the vanishing point also. Okay. And I wanna draw the back of my L right there. That's the back side of my L. From that corner, I'm gonna draw back to the opposite vanishing point. Okay. And then I have to draw the bottom of my L there show you how to do that really easy I'm gonna kind of line it up with this corner but I'm gonna draw only this portion I don't want to draw through my letter so I can erase this and you can get a better idea of what the L looks like here okay so there's my L and two-point perspective okay so let's do our next letter you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line where the top of this L is as a guideline um, when I did my one-point perspective, I didn't do that, and I probably should have. It would have been a little bit easier to get it more consistent, so I'm going to do it this time. Okay, so now let's draw an R. Okay, so I'm going to draw the back of my R right there. Draw the other side of my R right over here. Okay, I'm going to draw the top of the R going back to the vanishing point. A lot of my students will draw this parallel. You don't want to do that. You want to draw it back to the vanishing point. So back to the vanishing point, and I've been talking to them about that. That's something we definitely got to fix because it will not look right. I had that problem yesterday where people were drawing parallel. They were thinking one-point perspective when they're doing two-point perspective. So I said, hold on a minute. We're doing two-point perspective, not one-point perspective. And then um, when they see it, they're like, oh, I understand now. So we're drawing the R here. Remember, we're just drawing block letters. We're not drawing, drawing curved letters. If we were drawing curved letters, it would be a little bit different but um, 
I could do that in another video. Draw curved letters, if that's what you want to do. So I'm drawing my R right there. Notice that these lines go back to the vanishing point. Okay, I could erase some of this to make it uh, easier to see. There we go, right there. Okay, and we can erase this one right here. Now what I need to do is to make this three-dimensional, do my perspective, is because the letter is on the right side, I'm gonna draw back to the left point. So just like I did with my L, I'm gonna draw back this, the corner back here. Remember, don't draw through your letter. It'll look really messed up if you start drawing all the corners through your letter. Notice also how I stop at the edge of the L. I don't wanna draw through that either. So I can't draw this corner or this corner or that corner or that corner because I'd be drawing right through the letter and I don't wanna do that. I can do this one. Let me erase this real quick, it might be easier. Okay, so I can draw this one right here. I can't draw that one, I can't draw that one, that one, or that one, or that one, but I can draw this one right here. Okay, and I, oh no, I can draw this one right in here also. Okay, so now we drew this guideline back here to show me where the, the back of my R is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw straight down here, parallel to that. Okay, and actually this may come over this line's right here, it may come over and get that. So I may have to erase that a bit. Okay, um, in here, I kind of look at this thickness here and say, can I see that thickness in here? Do I need to make some marks in here for this letter? No, I don't have to because I made it really thick. Okay, notice how this here looks thicker, looks bigger than this. And one of my students asked me yesterday, well, why does that happen? And when you get your letters closer to the vanishing point, it skews the letters more, okay? It makes it really skewed, and that's okay, it's normal, so don't worry about that. Okay, now let's do an E. Through the back of my E, I'm gonna draw the top of my E, and if, you know, if I follow my R, the top of my R here over, you know, giving me my E also. If I come down here and follow my L, this part of the L, it'll also give me my E line, okay? Notice that it's bigger here and smaller there. That's because of diminishing size. And then I could probably get the middle of my E because of that R, but you know, I, I don't like the way that's looking. It, if I put this down here, it, it won't look quite, quite right. So I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm going to just go ahead and change it up a bit. I'm going to make this a little bit higher. I think it'll just look better. Even though I probably could have lined it up with my R. But see the distance here and the distance here is different. So I probably need to move this up again. Um, when you do that, you know, with my R, I probably could have done a little bit better job getting that more even. I'm just kind of eye it up and put some marks there. Maybe these are more accurate. Let's try this. See if this looks better. Okay, I feel better about that. Okay, so I've got my E there. I can go ahead and erase and erase. Erase right here. Erase over here and here. Okay. Now I need to just draw my corners back to the point. And if you look right here, and get that one. I can get 
that one. Um, I can get this one right here. Okay, I should be able to get that one and that one. So let's get those. Okay, and then I gotta draw the back of this, right at this corner. Drawing straight down, I wanna draw parallel to that. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. So, <clears throat> I could continue to go here. Just remember that if you do that, make your letters smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller because of diminishing size. Also, you'll notice, like I said, it's thicker here and it's thinner here because of diminishing size. Also, you're receding to this point and that's how it works. Okay, if I had made my letters a little bit thinner, I might have had to draw something in here also, but because my letters are kind of thick, you don't see it because it's behind this portion of the letter and that's perfectly okay. Okay, next time I need to go over three points soon. I'll do that and I will also show you how to do three point letters.